Cinnamon Cooney the Art Sharp, and today I'm so excited to show you how you can create these nighttime dandelions for yourself at home. Grab a couple fun surprising tools like cotton swabs, get your paint, get your brushes, get your Q-tips, come back and meet me at the easel right now. I'm going to show you how you can create this. So the materials we're going to begin with are a 9 by 12 surface. I have laid out here a soft bodied, it's the kind that comes in the bottles, titanium white. I also have the heavy body, titanium white, phthalo blue, Mars black, pad yellow medium. I have a tool for splattering, Q-tips that are bundled together already with a rubber band, a few loose ones, more of the soft body white paint, phthalo blue and phthalo green, an artist knife to mix these together, a number four round to paint the details and a big brush, this is a number 30 bright, to paint in the background. So let's take a deep breath. And we're going to paint the entire surface black. Let's do that. So as soon as that is painted in, the next step is to dry it because you don't want the black paint to get into your bright colors. I'm going to show you a really simple technique for putting stars on your canvas. I have another video if you want more ways to splatter stars that I will put in the description. But for right now, let me show you this simple way. I'm going to take my splattering tool. I load it up into my more fluid paint. I'm gonna work this through to make sure that it's evenly distributed. I bring it over here and flick back, creating stars. Definitely dry that night sky. Well, that looks very galactic and it's ready for our next layer. Now this next part, if you've never painted before, follow along carefully with the techniques. I think you're gonna be surprised at how easy it actually is. I'm going to take my number four round. I'm going to dip this brush in water and drag off the extra because I don't want it too loaded. I'm going to take a little of my phthalo blue and my titanium white, adding just a drop of water. You can see I'm just improving how that flows. I'm going to roll the brush, load the end here, and we're going to make grass. So the point of this will be to paint on just the toe of the brush keeping your brush stroke light, come up, I'm arcing, arcing, I release my pressure as I come up, and then I'm going to make little leaves. You can see I'm just touching the brush and pulling those back, zippering those down, dipping in water, then I'm gonna make some blades of grass, Just curve these strokes, press the hardest at the beginning of the stroke and release. Now let's fill in the whole canvas with those beautiful little bits of grass and plants. So when you get that layer done, try to remember to curve your brush strokes different directions and vary it up the way things kind of tend to do in nature. Now for the next layer, we're gonna mix our colors here together. So this is the phthalo blue and phthalo green. Use any blue and green you have. I'm gonna mix these together. This is going to make a turquoise and I'm gonna add a little bit of my white to it. You can always pull in one more bit of blue if you want it to be darker. There we go. Now I'm going to put in the stems for the really cute dandelion puffs. Take your brush, dip it in the water, load up your turquoise color, come to your surface, and let's do one tall stem right about there. I'm going to add a bunch of little dandelion puffs around so that it looks like we're catching a bit of a field of wildflowers. So 
So now we have the stems that we can attach the puff to, and we're gonna do that with our Q-tips. Now remember, take a deep breath. It's really easy to hold your breath when you're painting. It's normal to be nervous, but I promise you, if you just relax and have fun, you're gonna be really surprised at your result. Now I'm going to get one of my bunches of Q-tips. These have four together, and I'm gonna dab up and down in my turquoise color. So they're loaded like this. We're gonna come over here, and we're gonna make a little circle. Like that. Leave that center open at first. You can add just a little bit, but you always want to leave an open center. Do this at the tops of all the stems. That looks pretty good. We're starting to see the dandelions come together. Now in acrylic painting, what happens to new artists often is that they're in the middle of the painting and they don't realize that as the layers build up, the painting comes together. This is the halfway point. And so your only goal right now is just to finish all the steps. You're gonna be surprised at the final result. I've now grabbed one with three and I'm going to get into my white paint more mixing my turquoise and my white paint i'm going to come tap up and down at the outer edge of these where they overlap i just won't cross back over That looks pretty wonderful. Now, the final finishing touch to these, you can do with a single Q-tip, where you add the little highlights on the outer part of the fluff. I'm gonna grab one Q-tip, and I'm gonna very carefully define the outer edge, creating little cute details Just like that. You can see it goes dark, lighter, lightest. Now I'm gonna do that on all of these. That looks pretty wonderful. Let's add some fireflies to create a little bit of a magical effect. But to do that, we wanna make sure all the layers that we've done are dry. So let's real quick dry the canvas. Once the canvas is dry, it's gonna really make it easier for us to add our little firefly technique. This is a really simple technique and I think you're gonna love using it, not just in this painting, but in any future paintings. Get your number four round and let's go ahead and dip that in some water again, dragging off the extra. I'm gonna grab my yellow and a little bit of my white. And let's start right here and I'll show you how to do the technique. So you go on the toe of the brush and you make a circular brush stroke. And each one you're gonna radiate out with. See how we're doing that where we radiate out? Creating an implied glow effect. Now sometimes I like to rinse out and come get just yellow and come to the center, adding that brighter detail. You can even bring some of these to the outside. All right. Now, what we're going to do here 
is add these fireflies all over this magical nighttime dandelion field and just increase the ooh-ah factor. So once you have the perfect amount of dragonflies for your painting, the last step is to put just a little more forward facing grass. We're so nearly done. I bet you're really amazed with yourself so far. Let's come in and use our darkest blue with a little bit of white. So this is our thalo blue. We're only going to add just a small amount of white to it just to help it show in our painting. We're going to be using the same grass strokes that I showed you at the beginning. So it's the same techniques. Let's go over it again. Let's come up here and add some of those delicate little grass strokes. That is looking really beautiful. I think the only thing we have left to do is sign it. I'm going to put my name on mine and I would love it if you felt great enough about your painting that you wanted to put your name on yours. I like to use small detail brushes to sign. Another good signing tool is a Posca paint pen, but really any way you want to do it is just fine. Well, that was just a lot of fun today. I'm so glad I was able to show you how you can paint your own nighttime dandelions at home. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And I want to see you at an easel really soon. Bye-bye.